Hello and welcome to another vid from Hackology. We've got a really good tutorial lined up for you today. Basically we're going to be receiving um, email using the POP protocol. The, in the last video when we looked at Telnet we looked at sending email via SMTP simple mail transfer protocol and in this one we're going to look at logging into a mail server um, into a, a local network email account and retrieving the email. Now you're going to need three things to do this. One is the mail server which we looked at setting up for SMTP in the last tutorial. Um, two is a Telnet client. You can use the command line one. We'll be using Putty in this demonstration. Um, you can download Putty. It's free. Check the last video for the link. And you will also need to send an email to the account to receive it. So um, you can either check the last tutorial or we'll kind of cover it in here but you'd be better off looking at the server settings for SMTP and the explanation behind it. Um, okay, let's get started. First uh, we're going to get to HMail Server. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is boot up HMail Server. And what we're going to do now is create a domain. So this could be, this could be uh, your external IP or this could be um, anything really for in internal emailing but if you wanted to receive emails from the outside world you'd have to set it to your external IP. Okay, so um, we're going to call this domain local.network and click save and we'll go to accounts and add an account and we're going to call this account malware and give it a really secure password of Okay, now that we've got the account on the network, we need to send an email to it. So let's fire up Putty. Okay, so we need to connect on the SMTP port, which is port 25, to our local um, SMTP server running on our local IP address. And click open. Okay, the first command we need to say is hello. And we need to say hello 192.168.1.101 followed by enter and the mail is coming from brains at local local so our recipient is going to be malware Enter, uh, then we're going to add some data and we're going to go to Okay, so I've just sent that email using SMTP which we covered the other day in the last video. If you want to see how to set up and send SMTP, watch that video. Next we're going to log into the POP server and retrieve our messages. So, let's quit from this session and do it the proper way. Quit, load putty again. And this time we're connecting to port 110, which is the default port for um, POP servers. So let's just click open. Okay, right. Now we need to supply the server with a username, so that's malware at local.network. Okay, user. Okay, so that's how you log in. Um, the, the syntax for that is user and pass. And now that we're logged into the server and the server knows it's us, um, we're going to call um, a command similar to DIR, uh, which is list. So if you type list followed by enter, it tells us here that we have one message and um, to read that message it will be listed here. And we type 
or in TR to return message number one. And it says, hey buddy, you got mail, just thought I'd send you, just thought I'd email you something across the World Wide Web, Holla soon, brains, excellent, we've received our email. Okay, so now, we type the list again. That message is still sitting in our inbox. We can use the, um, we can use Delhi number one to delete it our list and you'll notice that the message has disappeared from the list but the message is not actually deleted until we quit from the session so for instance if we deleted something and thought that we didn't want to delete it you could type uh, you could type you could type r set you could type r set list and that returns the message back to the inbox i hope you've enjoyed this episode you've just learned how to send email to an ip address and to a local network domain um, we've got some really cool stuff coming up soon that you're gonna love and um, hit us up have fun hacking see you soon